So this is the first of, sorry, the Daria and Finley adventures. Where are we off to today, Daria? Falkland! All right, I think we can see Falkland from here. But, <laughs> so it's not going to be much of an adventure that way, but off we go anyway. So as we head over to Falkland, Daria was just telling me that quite a bit of Outlander was shot there. So series one, two, is it three four. and four? Four. four? And four were filmed there. So we'll see what we can find as we wander around. There's a castle in Falkland that we can go into, isn't there? Yeah, there's a yeah. palace. So we will keep you posted as we go. Go to five. You can see the smiley face made of daffodils on the hill on the way there. giving you outlander feels, Daria. Yeah. Okay, we need to park somewhere. Look at this, it's adorable. I know, that's the gift shop. The Fay Air. So what is our itinerary for now, Daria? We're going for a walk and we are going to climb the, the Loman Hills? Yeah, the east side. Mm -hmm. And then we're coming back to the town to visit town and all the spots where Outlander used to be filmed. We totally just parked at one right now. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to spin this around so you can see. Apparently I don't know how to do that. I don't do that. So we're just sitting here just now. So you can get to see some stairs for Outlander. Just now. So we're going to be heading up here. Up onto the Moment Hill. He's been walking through the scenic Falkland. We'll get some more when we get back later. Up here. Yeah. The sun's just starting to break through the clouds. So we're heading up into this like beach grove. It's lovely. Oops. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So we haven't gone very far yet. We're just starting to get some height behind us. Getting above most of the low-lying tree line. And we're surrounded by all these massive beech trees as we head up towards the East Loman Hill. Stunning. So those of you that have been to Lanark will know that actually where I grew up there was a lot of beech trees. This is very reminiscent of some of the areas around there. The sun coming through. It's really quite beautiful. And the sound of the wind roaring above us. Lovely. I need a different adjective than lovely. So the trail's gotten a little bit narrow. Maybe we've gone off the trail. We've gone off the trail. Who am I kidding? Hey, 
It's a little bit precarious. Wall. Hello. So we have just crossed the tree line, so we're just above it, and you can see the rainbow in the background. We're just getting ready to start the proper ascent of the East Loman Hill. You coming, Daria? Coming. Coming. Yeah. We just had our Buddhist sermon as we were walking up. Very <laughs> educational. I wish I'd recorded some of it. So next time she starts off one, I'm going to record it. <laughs> so that you can get some divine wisdom as we go up a hill <laughs> that you've been working with. Um, one of the things that I've been working on uh, with is the stories of the Buddha. And in one of the stories, Buddha, who was sheltered his whole life, he eventually kind of got out of his protected life and he saw all the pain, all the sorrow and death. And he asked whether this is going to happen to him one day. And he really didn't like the answer, so he started using all different techniques to kind of understand it, to deal with it. And he, all techniques were a little bit, weren't enough. So in frustration, he sat down under a tree one day and decided to sit still and meditate. So would you say that like sitting still and taking a few deep breaths is already emerging and be okay with it there we go some daria wisdom for you <laughs> <laughs> flat is. I'm going to tell you more about that when we get a wee bit higher up. So I don't know if you can see that tower there in the distance. I remember 2004 coming up here. I think it was a little bit rough from the night before and having to go up there to do uh, like a, ge ge a geological survey of the whole area to try and map out like its glacial history. Ooh, memories. the camera around. <laughs> skylark above us so this is their nesting time so it's obviously spotted that we're nearby it's putting out the cry up pretty high so right behind us that is the east loman crag and um, this actually makes up something called a crag and tail formation so one of the more famous ones being like the castle and royal mile in edinburgh where you've got this volcanic cone that's been hit by the glacier kind of coming from the west to the east and it's pulled this tail around the cone meaning we've got this like longer flat Ice Age times, which forms a lot of the geological forms in Scotland. There you go. Talking about Edinburgh, it's there. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's way it's over there. there. It's way over there, but it is over there. So we're on our way to Mass High Den. Okay, so we're coming down to the waterfall, which is like scooping out underneath the rock here. Where Coop is going. And then coming around. So I'll get a different view in a second. So this is underneath the waterfall, so we're kind of in this scooped out piece of rock under. You can see right behind me, the water is pouring down. And we're kind of right into this dripping rock right behind us. I'll get the front view for you.
just coming down through this wooded den. What is it called, Daria? Mass by. Mass by. Den. So we're coming down. Apparently, we were looking for stone bridge. Once we cross a few wooden bridges, so we're coming up to the first of the wooden bridges just now. But obviously, the area is a lot more densely vegetated with all the water around here. Um, it's really quite lovely. Quite a lot of undercut banks. I'm just coming up for one just now, and I'll show you. We're here coming down. So I see all the sort of overhanging edges. Pardon the jittering camera as I stamp down this path. It's really quite lovely. The sounds of the birds and the water to our right. Quite lovely. We have a waterfall. We also have a beautifully positioned log at said waterfall to make everything look beautiful. An undercut bank. Hashtag stunning. So we're just coming down from the falls and walking through more of the sort of really tall fir trees and just that smell of like the woodland loam it's switching to like pine needles underneath versus the heather that we've been walking through. It's lovely. Except for the rhododendrons that are there, and I've got like opinions against them. But this one likes so them. They're pretty though. Pretty but deadly. To biodiversity. We're just down from the den. We're coming down with all these it's quite old man made bridges. I need to check out to, like, the history of the area and get a date for you guys on that. But quite adorable. This is like a tributary to the waterfall that we were on earlier on. And someone is trying to get a photo of it, so I should probably get out of the way. We're just heading through what Daria says is a tunnel, but a tunnel, <laughs> um, built into the stone. And Ooh, eerie, creepy. Oh, it's actually quite long. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, Daria. Oh, and a step. <laughs> so here we go. Well, I must say that was actually quite exciting. And there's Cooper. And Cooper went over the top somehow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're heading down and just coming up to a stone bridge. I'm not sure if you can see through the trees, but that is Falkland House. Um, we're going to get a better view of it once we get around this little bend. We can start seeing it through there. A sort of large stately home. We're just coming around. You can see. A little bit more in the house. I'll get some dates for you in the blog article just about this. Once you get there. I did that was your driveway, that massive vaulted bridge. This ivy covered home. I wonder how much of it's still in use. So Daria actually told us about this on the way here. So Falkland House, which I guess was a stately home, is actually now a school for additional support needs, for um, boys. specifically boys with autism. So, there you go. What an amazing facility. Yeah, there you go. Also, what an area to be in to be able to come outside here anytime. So we're walking down what was probably the ground of the stately house, judging by all these are much larger trees. much trouble but we'll see won't we it's just coming up so yeah this looks like it was the chapel because uh, there's some burial markers inside unsure as to whether well, I guess it was roofed at one point but it's certainly been turned into more of an open air daily now let's give you up it's still quite impressive it's bigger than I thought from when we were up the hill. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been roofed. So this is probably this is probably the mausoleum for oh. the family that were living in the stately home. Um, similar things I've seen throughout Scotland, actually. All this town is. We we're just saying about looking around it. You know how a lot of the old has been incorporated into the new. The spires, the stone stairways. It's lovely. Yeah, really lovely. 
So we are back in Falkland and we're back in the centre. And um, if you I will. turn your camera and look here, this is the shop where Claire visited in the first season and was looking at the shop and was contemplating buying a blue vase. So this is so the this shop. So this is when it was Inverness. Yeah. That, this is Inverness. So I'm going to turn, turn it. Turn over towards the left side. Turn over. You will see the fountain where Jamie was standing as a ghost and Frank came in and got the right. And here is the window where Claire was doing her hair because they were staying in this uh, little inn. This is before she sort of runs off and touches the druid stones, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and goes back to 100 years. Yeah. So we're just heading into Fair Earth, because you can get a tea and coffee in here. So we're going to do that and then sit outside and have some food. Get more fresh air, not that we really need it. We're just heading in, Dara, if you lead, because you've got the pup. So this is really exciting stuff because Gintensify is owned by our friend Carol who is from Broy Ferry and she creates those amazing little uh, botanicals you can use for your gin. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Support local. Yeah. The jumper. Yeah. So we're just sitting outside Fair Earth having some lunch, having some tea and a much needed sit down seeing as we haven't actually stopped and sat down since we left this morning. It's been like four hours now on the road. What do we have here food wise? So we've got a kale, mm -hmm. sun-dried tomato, a blueberries and avocado oh. salad. What's with the, is that hummus? This is hummus on the side but obviously slid down because we were walking a lot and the sauce, mm -hmm. so there's dressing and it's mango, lemon and um, oil, olive oil. Mm, Together. Is this one the same? And this is the same, so this is for Finlay. Oh, you Finlay. Thank it looks you. probably more appetizing. <laughs> and we also have a, a little bit of carbs. Yay. And this is just cheese, tomato, and um, more hummus and red pepper. Okay, great. Lovely. And this is meat for Cooper. And maybe Finlay. No, this is not the good thing. So we're just jumping in the car for our last stop for this area, which is heading to the Pillars of Hercules, which is an organic farm. Um, and they would do some food there. So I might get like a hot soup because I'm actually frozen to the bone. Um, and we'll see what else we can get there. See you there in a second. Three minutes. Three minutes, exactly. Thank you, Daria, for modeling that so beautiful. Here we are at Pillars of Hercules. This is their polytunnels for a lot of their organic produce, especially like their greens and spring vegetables that they'll be coming out soon. We've got this little educational part outside teaching people how to do planting and then also we've got these that you can get I think, to plant in your own gardens. So that's a little pre-planted bits. Ooh, what does this mean? to pillars and now I have become enchanted by these chocolate bars. <laughs> Which are vegan and dairy free. Oh, side of the citrus polenta cake. So we have ordered some cakes because we've already had lunch. But just looking at this, didn't realize there was like so many menus. So we're definitely going to come back here. It's mostly drinks, but that's me. And all organic and a lot of vegan options. Lovely. Mm, veggie breakfast. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So I've got a fresh juice, which is kiwi, pear, apple, and our chocolate bonbons and tea. Yum, yum. So we are just leaving Pillars and wrapping up our day of going around Sorry. Falkland. So make sure you keep an eye out for the blog so you'll be able to see more of the photos that we've done today and just some of the information about the places we visited. Also, subscribe to the channel, not only for yoga stuff, but also for more of our vlogging scotland -y adventures. Hopefully we'll go further than across the river. Oh yeah! <laughs> this time. Alright, bye from Billy and Daria.